friends. Um. I, oh, my friend's calling me. One second. Katie, you need to talk about this. You need to talk about porn. You need to talk about sex. You need to talk about por the, your porn addiction because I saved you from that. I broke that chain from you. I was thinking about this all of it. Ah! Holy cow. It is Katie Pat. No, but Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Katie Patterson and today I'm gonna to be sharing my journey about how I got here, how I became a Christian TikToker, how I became a Christian YouTuber, Christian influencer, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna be sharing my journey with you today about how I got here. So I've only been really open about my faith. I've really been starting this journey about talking on the internet about my faith for less than a year. My one year will be on March 26th and that was the date I started my Christian TikTok account. And yeah, so I haven't even been doing this a year, so I'm just gonna be telling you my journey today about what happened this year, if I lost friends, if I gained friends, what's been on my heart, things like that. I'm gonna be telling you kind of the whole year of how I got here. So before we get on to the video, I just wanna remind you guys to like and subscribe to this channel for more. Also follow my TikTok and Instagram at katie.patty with two eyes on each side if you wanna join the journey. And yeah, let's get right on into the video. So where do I start? I should actually show you guys my first TikTok video because it was It was something it was something I had blonde hair. I had recently bleach blonde my hair I look a lot different. I also had zero confidence. I had zero boldness I was not confident in myself in my faith or anything because taken I became a born-again believer on March 19th also, my one year's coming up. I have only been a born again believer since March 19th and I started my TikTok on March 26th. A lot has changed in a year. The Lord has equipped me with a lot and I'll talk more about that. Okay, this was my very first Christian video. I don't wanna get copyrighted, so I'm gonna turn the volume down all the way. Okay, so it goes like, is it playing? Oh yeah, it's like name, age, I don't know, things like that and I was talking about being a Christian believer, non-denominational, youth camp, that was my very first, and that was on, oh, that was on March 25th, I lied, I thought it was March 26th, my very first Christian video, wow, that was almost a year ago now, crazy how time flies, also I'm gonna show you my first talking video, this doesn't have any audio, like this doesn't have any music behind it, so I can show you it, but look how different I look, first of all, and I need to comb my hair, second of all, and my hair is blonde, so. Everybody, I was reading the word this morning and yesterday, and Jesus was just really speaking to my heart, and I just wanna share that with you guys, so. I was thinking about the song, The Another in the Fire, and just reading Luke 8 and how Oh my goodness, I was such a baby. Such a baby, that was only a year ago. I cannot believe that. Oh, blonde Katie. Can you see that blonde Katie? Holy cow. So as you can literally see in that video, I had no confidence. I didn't, I, I was not confident in myself. I was not confident in my ministry. I had no idea what the Lord was gonna do, but I knew I had to be bold about my faith. The whole reason why I started my TikTok was because I was reading this book called Radical by David Platt. I recommend it to anyone. And it talks about radically living for Jesus. Or God is not this God that we put in a box and we can put limits on him. And we can't put limits on what God can do in our lives. After reading that book, I was in my prayer time. I felt really convicted about my social media because my social media for so long was about glorifying myself, glorifying my body. And I knew I had to make some changes. So in conclusion, I kind of uh, downloaded TikTok like the couple weeks before. I didn't really use it that much. All I saw is these Christian TikTokers and I was like, okay, maybe I'll start being bold about my faith. But I didn't know really where to start, but I knew that God really put it on my heart to start a Christian TikTok. And so on March 25th, I posted my first video about my faith. And I tell you, I was so nervous. I was so nervous to post it. I had zero confidence. I was not bold. I hadn't even talked to myself about the things I was going through. Like I wasn't open about how I struggled with porn. I wasn't open about how I struggled with lust. I wasn't open about my testimony or about how I used to sleep around or anything like that. I was not open. Like I was more just like, hear God. I don't know what to do. Here you go. So I kind of took it from there and I started. I started being 
a little bit more obedient to God than I was before. And so what I think is really cool is how the Lord literally equipped me. Through the months, you can totally see about my timeline, about how I became a little more open about this and I became a little more open about this. It's super cool how God has equipped me and how God has given me the confidence to be bold in my faith. So at the beginning, I, like I just said, I wasn't really open about how I struggled with lust or how I struggled with porn. But one day, and I will literally find the video for you. So I posted a video on... April 28th, so almost a month after I started, and it was titled, What I Do When I Struggle With Lust. And I remember posting that video and I was so nervous. Like I was so, so, so nervous because I hadn't really been open about me talking about lust. I hadn't been open about my porn addiction. I hadn't really been open about anything like that. I was so nervous and it blew up. I had so many comments and the comment section was filled like, oh my gosh, girl, I struggle with that too. I struggle with that too. The Lord laid it on my heart that Katie, you need to talk about this. You need to talk about porn. You need to talk about sex. You need to talk about por the, your porn addiction because I saved you from that. I broke that chain from you. You are not held in your past anymore. You you were made new and you need to tell people that you need to tell people about your story because every single sin every single mistake I've ever made can be used for God's glory so I I was I was nervous. I was so nervous when the Lord really placed that on my heart, but I could feel in the heaviness that I had to do it, that I had to start talking about it. And so from that like video forward, I started being way more open about my lust. I started talking about what to do when you struggle, things about how I was currently struggling with. And in June, I posted a video and I remember this clearly, it was talking about my porn addiction and I was talking about how, as you guys know, I struggle with lust, but I haven't really been honest with you guys about why I actually struggle with it. And I talked about how Jesus broke 10 year porn addiction. Man, oh man, did I get so much hate but also so much love from that video where people are like oh i know how you feel keep talking about it keep being bold keep doing this they gave me so much confidence in myself and in the lord that he was the one who broke these chains that i am not held in these chains and that i should not be ashamed of these chains and so i continue to be more open and more open and more open about it and look at what the lord has done so my slogan is there's so much blessing in being obedient and I live by that because whatever the Lord is placing on your heart, and it doesn't necessarily have to be social media ministry or something like that. If that's being a teacher, if that's being a doctor, if whatever the Lord is calling you into, there's so much blessing in being obedient to that. Maybe not financially, but he will give you an abundance of joy and he will equip you with the confidence in order to do that. And that's what he did with me. You saw that scared little blonde girl being so scared about talking on social media. And now look at me almost a year later, seeing that girl and he has made her who I am today. And you guys have gotten to see my journey of being that scared little born again believer and being who I am now and how the Lord has produced fruit in my life and how the Lord has produced confidence in everything in my life. You have literally seen my entire journey of faith. Like how cool is that that I have been able to document that. You can literally see the baby steps that I was taking and how I was scared but then how the Lord was pushing me each and every single step to be confident, to be equipped he gave me the voice and he has given me the confidence to do that. It's been really amazing how I can like broadcast my journey to how you guys can see how the Lord is constantly changing me, constantly renewing me. And I think that's so cool. So like I said, it's only been less than a year and these followers, like I would still be doing this if I had like 10 followers. I knew that it was something the Lord wanted me to do, but he has produced so much fruit in this ministry and not even for me like it has not been from me at all it has been from the lord and how he is constantly pushing me and leading me and producing fruit in my life so on tiktok i have 186.1 thousand followers and then on instagram i have 21.9 thousand youtube i am just about at 5,000. i think i'm at like four Point seven, I think and I've only started doing YouTube like literally two ish months ago Maybe two and a half months ago Which is so so cool that the Lord has been able to produce so much fruit and like I said There's so much blessing in being obedient to whatever he's calling you to do I'm not saying you're gonna get millions of millions of followers, but oh My friend's calling me one second What I'm saying is is whatever the Lord is calling you to be obedient to it because he will continue to provide for you. He will continue to give you what you need to be able to do that job and to be able to be equipped for that. So let's talk about friends. So um, at my the beginning of my social media ministry, I had lots of friends, okay? I had friends um, from the bar and from high school and from those people who supported me, I guess, that throughout 
my ministry journey and even me being a born again believer and being more bold about my faith and being more open about my faith those friends have kind of like left they've kind of like Tringled along the way. Have I had a lot of support from people I never expected I would have support from? Yes, and have like friends from my past talk to me about the Lord and the Lord has constantly produced fruit in their life and changed and transformed them because he used me as a vessel. Yes, and that's amazing. And I'm so blessed that are getting to know about the Lord and hearing about the Lord because of me. But there's also been those people in my life that are have been very judgmental and been very hateful. So if you ever want to do an online ministry like this, if you ever want to be bold about your faith like this, I'm gonna warn you, you're gonna get hate. You're gonna get a lot of like, good job, I'm proud of you, but you're also gonna get a shut up. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of like mean words and judgmental things so just be prepared for that but then you really know who your true friends are and the Lord has also blessed me with amazing friends in my life that replace the ones that I've lost and will remove people in your life but he will also um, put people in your life for certain seasons and for different reasons and eh, kind of been awkward kind of <laughs> kind of weird everybody's story is different. Everybody can bring something new to the table. My story has a lot about lust and porn and sex and everything and that's why I talk about it. That's kind of my niche. That's where my heart thrives and where I'm very passionate about talking about it and talking about sex education in the church because that's a part of my story but don't feel like you have to talk about one certain thing because it'll get the most views or make you more popular or whatever. Do what you're passionate about and your calling is different than my calling. My calling is so much different than yours. The Lord has a purpose and he has a plan for your life just like he has a plan and a purpose for my life. But don't just go to a calling because you're jealous of somebody else's or because you envy somebody else's calling or because you want that calling for yourself you have to ask god what your calling is individually what he wants to equip you to do what he wants you to do not everyone's calling is going to be a social media ministry i didn't even know this was my calling until the lord has produced so much fruit from it and how the lord has continued to give me the confidence and equipped me and he's continued to open those doors and also close those doors not everybody's calling is going to be the same as mine and my calling is not the same as yours so ask the lord is this something that he's calling you into or maybe it's just the Lord's calling you to be more open about your faith in general not even just to start a ministry but to be open about your faith in general I did not know this was where the Lord was gonna lead me a year ago I thought it would just be a fun thing to do during quarantine I did not think the Lord was gonna use me in this capacity but that is how big our God is our God you can't limit our God you cannot limit his plans that he has for you and he that he has for me our God we serve a big and bold God and so he is going to use ordinary people to do extraordinary things and he's going to equip people. He's going to give people what they need in order to succeed and that is what he's done for me. That's what he can do for you. So continue to let him lead you, continue to let him guide you and just seek him. I never knew this was what was gonna happen, but I'm so glad I was constantly obedient to what he was calling me to do. So just take those baby steps and maybe in one year, you'll be somewhere where you never thought you would be, but because you've been obedient to the Lord and let him open and close those doors, doors for you you're gonna be somewhere where you never thought you'd be that is so much more beautiful and so much more big and bold than you ever thought you could because my plans for myself were not this but I'm so glad that I trusted in his plan because his plans are always more better and more beautiful so guys that was my video I love you guys and I hope that this video was helpful in some capacity I'm continuing to pray for you continuing to love on you guys and just let me know what I can do or how I can be there for you I love you guys and I will see you next time bye